what's going on guys my name is Adim and before we get into the video let's actually take a look at my hair and appreciate how it looks good today I don't know why it looks good but it does and I'm really really happy about it so um yeah <laughs> Perona right so 138% support very very nice right runner strat pirates permisia new world tags um she is boost 19 out of 20, so other characters I showcase are usually at 9 out of 20. So she is much better because I did main her at some point. Um, negative hollow is really good. Long range, and it hits. if it hits them, they're negative, right? The damage is okay, but the negative means they can't do anything. And you're a big, big support to your team at that point. On a 27 cooldown, that's really, really nice. This skill creates a ghost. If they hit it, it deals big damage. It knocks them back on a 35% cooldown very 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 nice as well but because of her traits you see the cooldown is reduced so much more right uh, when attacked by an enemy 100% chance to reduce the cooldown of skill 2 by 5% that is very very good right uh, it's about two seconds every time you take damage which is really not bad uh, when uh, you're winning you have reduced skill 1 by 50% that means this skill becomes on a 14 second cooldown which is crazy it's so good um, when using skill 1, boost speed by 10%, so every time you use those boosts, you, you can disengage faster, you can run away faster, very nice. And also, you could just run to their back and capture the flag, because you have increased capture speed when you're above 80%, which is really, really good. The medals we have on her has capture speed, uh, dodge, skill 2, and skill 1 cooldown, right? Now, the beauty about this metal set is this one increases damage in their treasure area, right? Which, is, can, which can be helpful. But this one has capture speed, and this one has reduced cooldown of skill 1 when I'm losing, right? Which contrasts perfectly with the trait when I'm winning. So I always have my skill 1 faster, which is very, very, very good. All right, so let's get into some gameplay. Before we get into it, let's check out a funny clip, right? Uh, be careful of Rayleigh, of course, but look at this, right? He knocks me down. I use my skill. Both of them get hit, both Ace and Rayleigh. And then I use my other skill, and Rayleigh cannot do anything and gets KO'd, right? So it's a fantastic thing, and let's take a look at my first game. Now, this is actually, I think, my first game ever with uh, Perona in months, in a long time, pretty much since she came out, which is about over a year. So it's been like since, uh, pretty much a long time since I used it. Uh, all right, so let's get into the game. Let me lower the music a bit or the game volume. All right, let's get right into it. So I think Perona is actually a very, very decent unit. And surprisingly, I think she works better than Bikini Nami at this point because she's such a good support. As you guys can see, this game is going to be a massive support game. And the next game I'll showcase is much, much better. So, right. First thing we do, we throw our ghost down the middle, see if it hits anyone. It does hit the ace in his counter. Now the ace cannot do anything. Uh, and then Sabo manages to hit him, right? I'm just spamming my skills from rage. It also hit the shanks as you can see he has the purple around him which means that my skill also hit the shanks so shanks couldn't do anything and then he used the counter like a dumbass and yeah anyways we get our skill back so we can throw it again we have to be careful of Rayleigh again because when we throw it if Rayleigh sees it he dodges he gets a free perfect dodge he hits us and we're dead right but it hits the smoker and the shanks as you can see two shakes and that was really really good right shanks died from it as well and then we managed to deal damage to the smoker which is fantastic right now this guy's coming to us, Shanks hits him, and now I can throw my thing because Shanks is probably gonna that. The only problem with her normals is that they're not that long range and they take so much time. However, Blackbeard uses straight, so he probably won't see this coming, and look how many people. We hit Luffy and Soge King with that. Now Soge King is uh, unfortunately immune, but he took damage, right? Soge King cannot get negative because he's an Usopp, and if you guys watch Thriller Bark, you understand why. But we get our skill back again because we're winning. Remember, we can just spam this now. And now we're coming close to just throw this out, see what happens. But we get two fucking kills. I think we get two, right? Let's go back a bit. Yeah, we kill... Uh, no, sorry. So Blackbeard dies from the Rayleigh and we kill the uh, Soge King, right? But uh, we did hit, I think, the uh, Blackbeard to heal. And yeah, we <laughs> finish off by killing the Luffy. And so as you can see, guys, we might not be doing the work and the damage, but we are definitely supporting because the enemies cannot do anything to my teammates right uh, when you see that happen that means it targeted someone and yeah it hit the shanks and uh, maybe it hit the smoker i'm not sure but the smoker is one hp now the shanks can't do anything for 10 seconds uh, just stand there and take hits now i'm just making sure because uh, i saw someone in the mini map uh, go behind so i'm gonna go kill him or i i shouldn't have went honestly i shouldn't have went because it's not a good matchup right here i'm not sure with the timing remember it's been a long time since i played him but yeah 
so it's not a good matchup. At 1v1, she's not going to perform that well, right? Unless you catch them off guard, like this ace, you know, he uses normal, so I can use my skill because it has nullify stagger. Now he has this uh, glitch thing where he's uh, he's on the floor, but it looks like he's standing up. Luckily, uh, our friend Sabo, I called him Sampit Sabo in my Nightmare Luffy showcase. By the way, if you want to check that out, the card is going to be there. Make sure to check out if you care about uh, Nightmare Luffy. And yeah, anyways, we got a free perfect dodge on the uh, ace and we throw that down the middle. And yeah, so as you can see, guys, uh, pretty much I think we win here. But as you can see, like when we uh, are winning, it's really hard for them to come back if they don't see my ghost coming, right? My ghost will just put in so much work. They just, like, look at that. The Rayleigh now is stunned. The, the, someone else got stunned. You heard the sound, the, the, the small shakes. So someone else got hit. So it's really incredible the things she does, right? So even though we did not get MVP, I think we supported the team incredibly there, right? By making the enemies not do anything, my teammates were able to rack up score. We still got four KOs, which is incredible. Now, this game, I'm not sure I want to show you if... Uh, yeah, but this is the other really, really good game, right? We're at 9.20. I, guys, by the way, I got on so many win streaks with her by just clutching it out. I was considering making a compilation of all the clutches. That was like, that's too much work. And you know, uh, in the Forgiven channel, we don't do editing and stuff. But if I did, I had so many clutch moments, guys, where I just come in clutch last second, go and back flag, capture it and stuff like that. Her and Bikini Nami, they're both queens of clutches man they're really really good at clutching games and so that's why i get into a lot of win streaks uh, i think my best was at nine but i got into so many five win streaks and stuff and yeah here's a 920 score game so it's a bit on the higher side but uh we have some bikini nami unfortunately this was not a full corona game but i still think our score was really high on this one so i wanted to showcase it anyways right so uh, as you can see their team is meta as shit man meta as fuck right they have a uh, black beard shanks and Katakuri, which honestly, man, he's been making a rise deservingly, so he's really, really tanky and can heal and stuff, right? So let's get into the game and talk about uh, Time Skip Corona. No, I sorry, pre Time Skip Corona, and she's really, really not bad, guys. Really, really not bad. Honestly, if you have her at level 100, try her out. You'll see, and you can have a lot of success with her. Uh, she's a bit faster than the rest, and uh, we were able to reach. Now, luckily, the Snake Man booped him back because if he did not, that would definitely have hit us. Yeah. Anyways, we throw that. We get a hit on someone? No, we don't. Yeah. Okay. Luckily, Black... Uh, sorry. Our, they, I thought the Shanks would chase me there, but he didn't. So I was like, all right, well, fuck it. Someone did get hit by... I think it's... Uh, I don't know who. But someone got hit by that ghost. So that was pretty cool. Now our friend Katakuri wants to drop down to take care of us. But luckily, we captured the flag. And that's really nice. Right? We're like, you know what? You can come chase us. See what happens. And so, yeah. So I throw this out. Right? He gets hit. Unfortunately, the poor fuck now can't do anything. So we hit him. Guys, the third hit of the combo, remember, is that if, if all hit at close range, it's a lot of damage. And now Mr. Katakuri, we pretty much beat him in a 1v1. Now, the the our friend Rayleigh here, we don't want to fuck with Rayleigh. All right? If he perfect dodges our skills, which are very easy for him to perfect dodge, so we are out. We're out. And then the Blackbeard, I'm like, nope. You get the free perfect dodge. Yeah, you, you don't get the Prona. She's very, uh, very agile, very quick, very quick on her feet. Very fantastic unit. You can clutch with her. Honestly, she's such a good unit. I think the best runner I've showcased so far. Yeah, but as you can see, it's very easy to perfect dodge if you know it. However, we did hit someone else. And we knocked back the Blackbeard there, which is really good. And as you can see, that Luffy was hit by the Ghost, which is nice. Uh, so yeah, uh, here I think is when we die. Yeah, I'm just going to throw out the Ghost real quick. Uh, but yeah, really, as you can see, Perfect dodges it and we don't really have much to do. But Blackbeard got hit by the ghost, so he can't do much. Okay, I actually know. So they saved me from Rayleigh. And yeah, uh, we're just here. Here, I don't know how long the ghost will last. So yeah, uh, we got killed by the uh, by the Blackbeard. But he was, he, was, he was shadowed for a long time, right? So if we had a blue character or someone that dealt a bit more DPS, we would have that. Here, I wanted to wait, but I was like, yeah, fuck it. Uh, I just don't want to do that. And uh, Blackbeard can spend an hour up there and uh, will never make the comeback. So I was like, all right. Yeah, that was pretty good showcase. Here we boop the uh, Luffy and then we use our perfect dodge because obviously he's going to use his skill. It doesn't really use a brain. Uh, time skip Luffy players, as I like to say, you know, once a dumbass, always a dumbass. Right? The, the green, I don't know what the fuck Blackbeard was doing, but yeah, we know he's going to use his skill. So boom, we hit him with that. And we're like, okay, the poor guy doesn't know what the fuck is going on. Right here, I decided I'm going uh, to protect this flag. Because uh, we have four, but I can protect whichever. But look at the shanks. Look at the shanks. Oh my god, bro. He's capturing a flag. He's not going to hit your counter, bro. He's not going to hit your counter. That's how the game works. Luckily, luckily, because of the stupidity of our shanks, we almost lost there. But I decided to protect this one. And yeah, shanks showed up as well. 
I check, I see that uh, he captured it, so I'm just gonna stick on this one. And yeah, um, he he got stunned there. Actually, that's what happened. And he skill stopped because he got stunned because Bikini Nami has a three percent to stun when you get hit, uh, which is really really good and can come in clutch. So yeah, unfortunately that shanks. I don't know why he countered there. You know, the black bear was capturing the black. So honestly, I don't know if he thinks we can get hit. But six thousand four hundred score. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, right? That's pretty good, right? Um, now this is the last game here. I don't know if I want to show it, but we were on a five win streak, right? So it was pretty good. Um, let me see um, how what we happened at the end, right? That's five thousand five hundred. Yeah, as we can see, we got we got MVP with zero kills and zero captures, right? Because I think what happened is that the big bomb captured a lot, right? And uh, and then we just won, and we're in a dominant position the whole time. So yeah, that's pretty much that about Timeskip Perona. I don't really want to talk more about the game, but yeah, she's honestly a really really good unit. Honestly, I think she's a very good underrated runner, uh, better than Bikini Nami, hundred percent better than Usopp and Timeskip Chopper. Uh, so I'd recommend giving her a try if you guys have her boost one. I think you will see a lot of success it's capturing flags and if you guys want to win she's really good at helping you win so yeah if you want to be a supportive player make sure to check out perona and yeah with that being said guys hope you enjoyed and peace dude look at that hair <laughs>